Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your RAM or your main memory on your computer to get much better performance while gaming or using any other application. Make sure to watch this video till the end as I'm going to cover a lot of information in here. And also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is disabling the startup apps. Now these are really important. To disable startup applications, press Ctrl Shift and Escape all together and you will be opening up Task Manager on your screen. Now this is the new look of Task Manager but what you are looking for is the fourth tab that is the startup applications. Just maximize it so you can see everything completely. Right over here you can see all of the startup applications and next to it is the status of those applications. Now as you guys can see there are a lot of applications listed on my computer but you have to disable the ones that you do not need to boot up while your computer starts. To disable any of these applications simply right click and then click on disable. Make sure to know that what app you are disabling. Some of these applications can impact on your boot up time but yes this will significantly drop your boot up time allowing your RAM to perform much better and faster since your computer starts. Step number two is adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Right over here, select adjust for best performance and then you will find show thumbnail instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. You have to enable both of these options and then simply click on apply. Right after applying this, you will see that your windows will be de-animated. That means any animations like sliding of things are completely turned off. This will save a lot and a lot of processing on your computer. You will see the performance boost right away. Once you're done with that, go into the advanced section and over here you will find something called virtual memory. Simply click on change and then automatically manage paging file per size. Simply disable this and then go with the custom size. Now over here, you have to go into your system information and then find the install physical RAM or memory on your computer. For me, it is 16 GB. So now you have to open up the calculator. Okay, once you've got your calculator on the screen, you have to multiply the memory that you're using on your computer to 1024 so these are the bytes and then you have to divide it by 2 that means 8192 you have to set this as maximum size and the initial size it would be 1.33 multiplied by 1024 and that will give you 1361.92 you have to set this to the initial size make sure to remove all of the commas over here and then simply click on set now click on ok and then click on ok once you restart your pc you will find that your pc will be performing much smoother step number four is system configuration press windows and r key together and then search for ms config once you are here locate to the boot section advanced options select the number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your computer this will utilize all of the cores on your computer to start up your PC much faster and this will also increase the performance of your windows in long time. There are no drawbacks to use these settings so feel free to use it. Step number 5 is Windows PC Manager. If you guys don't know about this, this is a new Microsoft's tool dedicated to boost your PC's performance. You can go watch the video linked in the description below or click on the i button on the top right section of the screen to watch a detailed video of Windows PC Manager, how to install it and get it. Once you get it, you can simply click on this boost button and that will boost up your PC. Now this step itself will clean all of your temporary files and cache files and unwanted data so that your RAM can perform much smoother. So I highly recommend you guys to do this step before opening up any application that consumes RAM as a performance. This can include editing applications and games. Step number six is create a restore point. Simply search for create a restore point. And once you are over here, select your local disk C or any drive it says system. Click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on OK. Click on create, name it RAM optimization and then simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip that step because your PC can be saved. If anything goes wrong, you can always restore it back to normal. Step number seven is the RAM optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. You can open this pack up 
and then over here you will find a lot of presets to RAM. If you don't know what RAM you're using, simply search for system information and the same way you can find your installed physical memory. For me, it is 16 GB, so I have to run 16 GB RAM registry. It can be different for you, so I have left a lot of registries over here. You can choose the one which you want. Once again, if your PC is not performing well, you can always reset it to default and that will take your PC back to default. These registries will basically optimize your RAM to perform on the maximum potential at they can be. I highly recommend you guys to do this. Step number eight is changing the power plan. And once again, to do that, you have to go into control panel. And once you are over here, you have to search for power options. Once you're in power options, you will find balanced and high performance by default on your computer. If you're using a personal computer, you can go with high performance. If you're using a laptop, go with balanced as in laptops, high performance basically takes up a lot of energy so it will drain your battery faster it will heat your laptop and it will also make the fans run much much louder so if you're on a laptop use balanced if you're on a pc use high performance this will significantly improve the performance of your ram now step number nine is the bio settings and if you're using two ram sticks that are equal size i highly recommend you guys to enable xmp here is how you can enable XMP right on your screen. It differs from motherboard to motherboard. You can simply go on to Google, type in your motherboard model number and see how you can enable the XMP or DOCP for your memory. DOCP or XMP allows your RAM to run at the maximum potential. If you have a RAM over 2666 megahertz, this step itself can increase the potential of your memory if it can run up to 3000 megahertz or 3200 3600 so that can basically speed up your ram significantly so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below also don't forget to check out the videos linked in the description below they all will somewhere or the other help your computer to run much faster and smoother see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out